Hi, my name is Samantha Gates, and I'll be talking to you today about wetting and contact angle measurements. Now, as we all know, water and oil don't mix, and this is primarily because they have very different chemical structures. Water is attracted to water and other hydrophilic substances, while oil likes oil and will stay clumped with other hydrophobic substances. This is why the water in this video, shown in blue, settles to the bottom with the other water. This is also due to density. However, when this uh, mixture is shaken, it creates an emulsion in which droplets of the dyed water are suspended in the oil. Over time, these will settle and separate in the container again. Now this shows water on a Teflon surface or a hydrophobic surface. Since water is hydrophilic and doesn't like hydrophobic substances, it will bead up on the surface with a very high contact angle. However, water on glass, a hydrophilic surface, will spread out over a larger area, as shown here, with a much smaller contact angle. The driving force for wetting is the interfacial energy between the between the liquid and the solid. When a liquid forms a film of area A, the interfacial energy changes to that, changes from a function of the solid vapor interfacial energy to that including, of one including the solid liquid interfacial energy. The spreading coefficient is the difference between these two energy changes. The contact angle, based on this equation, is independent of size and shape of the molecule, as well as the volume of the droplet. De to determine the contact angle, we subtract the solid-liquid interfacial energy from the solid-vapor interfacial energy and add in this energy um, contribution from the angle. Um, this is also called the Young-Dupree equation. This is a summary of what these equations show. All of these are 20 microliter droplets of water, all showing a different area covered. The treated glass is plasma etched, which means it was treated to be more hydrophilic, and that's why we see such spreading on this surface. Thank you.